Lots of Christians don't actually read the Bible, and if they do read the Bible, they don't read it historically. Christians read bits, but do they read it systematically? They don't compare the Gospels to one another. They don't look at the really weird stuff. And it's, it's not like Jesus was walking around Palestine saying, hi, I'm God. The original sect just wasn't hitting the right market, essentially, and Paul figured this out. A crucified Messiah was kind of like fried ice cream. And the Messiah doesn't get crucified. They, they reinterpret, they reinvent the meaning of the word. In terms of Christian theology, it's perfect. In terms of history, it's ridiculous. The actual story is far more complicated and far more interesting. There are many different Christianities today. There were many different Christianities back then. It was Augustus himself. He is the son of a divinity. This whole thing is so obviously a literary creation. I'm teaching you all these things in secret. Well, what are those secret teachings I was giving? Everybody who's predicted that the world was going to end in their lifetime thus far has been wrong, and Jesus would seem to have been one of them. Christianity went from being some sort of fringe Jewish personality cult from the backwaters of the Roman Empire. From a superstition to being a state religion, that's absolutely extraordinary. 